raccoon on Facebook with the crispy fries. Who would have guessed it'd be the raccoon that predicted that I was on the right path after I'd been through two floods, two earthquakes, six raccoons, one plague, and one fire in the same house. You might say I've had an interesting relationship with Mother Nature. I'm pretty sure if we stood in line before coming to this earth and said, I'll have that life, please, no one in their right mind would pick the life of natural disaster girl. That's me. When the life of natural disaster girl is assigned to you, people start asking you about your experiences and what you've learned. Mother Nature's taught me a few things. She's taught me that laughter is a powerful cure for grief. She's taught me that the only way to discover the limits of what's possible is to explore the impossible. And she's taught me that the leading edge of comedy is the trailing edge of tragedy. I was so excited and a little nervous to be accepted as a speaker for this TEDx talk and share my big idea of bridging the gap between comedy and tragedy before tragedy struck. But I felt lost about what to say. So one night before going to bed, I asked a higher power to clue me in. That night, I dreamt that a man delivered 64 cartons of crispy fries and spilled them all over the floor. The next morning, I rolled out of bed, poured myself a cup of coffee, and sat down to write this talk. I struggled. So I started scrolling through Facebook. That's when I saw an ad for a diet program. And someone had commented about craving crispy french fries. That gave me pause. I scrolled some more and saw that my friend, Ellen Ware, a near-death experiencer, had posted a picture of an adorable raccoon that looked like this and said, if you see a raccoon or it comes to you in a vision, it has spiritual meaning. It means you have the resources at hand to handle any situation. I instantly knew two things. One, I wanted french fries. And two, <laughs> what to write for this talk. Stay tuned. Things are just heating up. My secret is simple. I always follow the trail of crispy fries or synchronicities I see laying at my feet. Synchronicity is a term coined by the Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung and refers to those deeply meaningful coincidences that are so statistically unlikely they give one pause when they happen. Synchronicity is very personal, and what may seem like a simple coincidence to one person may hold deep guidance and significance for another. When we, when we follow our trail of crispy fries, we get in on the cosmic joke, giving us glimpses of humor. Laughter, even in small doses, eases emotional pain and provides temporary relief from pain. Synchronicities remind us of the magic and connectedness we have with the universe and each other. It is critical to find that sense of connection. Studies have shown that people with poor social connection have a 60% increase of premature death. I'll choose finding comedic relief over that tragic ending any day. The synchronicities that have shown up in my life have given me deep faith that things are happening for me rather than to me. And they certainly have helped me laugh my way through life. In April of 2019, my husband Jim woke me up in the middle of the night. He heard loud knocking noises coming from our wardrobe and thought we might have a ghost. I'm more prone to that way of thinking, so I pulled the covers up over my head. <laughs> the next morning, I looked in the wardrobe. There was nothing there. I pulled down the attic stairs and slowly climbed up. When I made eye contact with Charlotte, the raccoon, and her five babies, I backed up so quickly, I fell off the attic stairs with a half twist. But I stuck the landing. <laughs> In July of the same year, a second flash flood hit my front door. The first one was 13 years earlier, but this time, my son Liam and I sprung into action and saved our entire house from total destruction. Before I knew it, it was March of 2020, and the whole world went viral 
faster than anyone realized they could. But days have a way of leading into months and blurring into years. That's when we all reconnected and celebrated live and in person again. That's when I got on stage in La Jolla, California with other business owners and shared my second flood story. I did it in one sentence. I confidently declared, Mother Nature picked on the wrong water sign that day. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> so I went to sit down and my phone rang. I looked at it. It was my husband, Jim. He never called when I was at events, so I answered. Our house burned down, he said. I was on stage taunting Mother Nature when my whole life went up in smoke. It was as if God himself was igniting my soul and blazing a new path for me to go in the direction of my dreams. And I promise you, it's happening in your life too. How about when you think about a friend you haven't thought about in forever, the phone rings and it's them? Or you pick up a book, open it to a random page, and get an answer to a much needed, tricky situation you're in. Not convinced yet? I went back to an event in California to work on my lifelong dream of going from phony to Tony Award with a musical where audiences would laugh, cry, and lose weight. I went up to Target to get the basics. You know, bread, tuna, chips, red wine. Walking back, I stopped in my tracks. The Christina Perry song, Jar of Hearts, was blaring from in-ground speakers. It was one of my favorite songs in the whole wide world, and I hadn't heard it in 10 years. The next day, I show up at the event, and my friend Heather Simonson comes up to me, and she says, hey, Laura, you're going to work on a musical, right? I said, yeah. She said, you should meet Drew. You, I can introduce you to him. You know who he is, right? I'm like, no. She said, Drew Lawrence is that guy that wrote the song, Jar of Hearts. Crispy fries after five years of getting up from every one of life's punches, I had finally found my synchronistic punchline. And little Charlotte the raccoon and her five babies showed up early to let me know I'd absolutely stick the landing. What seemed like a string of unbelievable bad luck was actually a string of meaningful coincidences leading me confidently in the direction of my dream. Wondering if synchronicities happen in your life? You can find them if you follow the, what I call the Fry's method. F, follow the clues and signs. R, reflect on the meaning behind events. I, intuitively trust that meaning. E, embrace the experience as a gift. And S, stay open and curious. When you follow your trail of crispy fries, you will see incredible patterns that reflect the bigger picture and purpose of your life. Synchronicities are far too random to nail down with the scientific method, but I figure this. Looking for them makes life interesting. And at very best, it makes life joyful. My wish for you is that you follow your trail of crispy fries confidently in the direction of your dreams. Thank you.